Hi everyone, it's Jay here and these are the books that I bought in April from charity shops and I cannot tell you how thrilled I am with some of these purchases. I got a trilogy that I've been wanting for quite a while and one of the hardbacks is on my Waterstones wish list when the paperback version comes out. So for me to find it in a charity shop for the price that I did, I'm absolutely ecstatic about. So let's go. So I got The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armantrout. So this is a Blood and Ash novel, number four in the series, I think the six. Um, I don't actually have any of the others, but it's a series that I keep hearing about, so I do want to read it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I found this for 50p. 50p. <laughs> Look at the condition. It's in such good condition that I just thought I'd, I'm best off buying it. Um, it's about kingdoms and war and trying to do, find how to best run a kingdom. It's about um, someone called Poppy. I don't want to tell you more because this is obviously book four and I was reading the back and I thought I should probably stop reading it because I think I'm going to end up spoiling it for myself. But really happy with this. 50p. I bought Broken Homes by Ben Aranovich um, and this is the fourth I think in the series of Rivers of London and it's about a police officer and one day he's on a case and he's, he, he doesn't quite go the way he expects and he meets a magician and now he's a trainee magician and a police officer so it's all about crimes but with the supernatural mixed in so yeah this is book four i think in the series and i got it for three pound from oxfam this is the purchase of the month for me it's legends and lattes by travis baldry and i have been really looking forward to reading this book so it's out in hardback but i was waiting for it to come out in paperback before i bought it and I saw this and thought, oh my goodness, I have to buy this. I got it for £1.50. £1.50. It's in such good quality, such good condition. I'm really happy with this. Um, and I love the artwork on the opening, in the inside front cover. So that's really, really cool. I'm really happy with this. Um, and it's about... Um, it's about an orc who she's fed up of fighting and she wants to just set up her own coffee shop which she finds a bit tricky because where she lives no one really knows what coffee is it's supposed to be a really cozy read and i think that's what i need right now so very excited to read this book i found this um it's a book by garth nix the left-handed booksellers of london i've wanted to buy it for a while now because i do like the author um, I used to read his books when I was younger, so the Old Kingdom series, Sabriel, Lyriel, Apolson, probably pronouncing those horrifically wrong, but there you go. And I found this and thought, I really need to buy it. So I got it for £2, and it's all about a slightly alternate London, and this girl called Susan is looking for her father, and there's booksellers in London, the left-handed booksellers, so they're the fighting ones, and the right-handed booksellers who are the intellectual ones. And it sounds like um, it's going to be a really good mix of kind of the myth, the legends, and the modern world. And he's such a good writer, I love the writing from this guy, so hopefully this will be really good as well. I found a book I'd never heard of before called Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez and by the way I love the front cover and it sounds really interesting so it's set in an ancient city plagued by dragons and 18 year old Zarella is a flamenco dancer and her dad is the famous dragonader who he has an arena and everyone comes to see him fight and something happens and it completely changes her life so she now has to try and keep the arena her ancestral home and inheritance safe from the greedy hands of the dragon guild and to do that she needs help to become a dragonader 
and there's this dragon hunter called Arturo, um, who's really handsome, so three guesses what's going to happen there. But he's refusing to help her. So this book's about how she tries to convince him to help her, and then how she's going to save everything that's hers from the Dragon Guild. And I got this for 99p, and I thought, you know what, if, if it's a good book, fantastic, I got it for 99p, and if it's not a good book, I got it for 99p, and I can pass it on. This is The Last Day by Andrew Hunter Murray, and I've never heard of this book before, but it sounds like it could be a really, really good read. Um, I got it for £2, always good to get a hardback for £2. Um, and it sets after 2059, so the world has stopped turning. One half suffers an endless frozen night and the other nothing but burning sun. Only in a slim twilight region can life survive. In an isolationist Britain, Ellen Hopper receives a letter. Sent by a dying man, it contains a powerful and dangerous secret. One that those in power will kill to conceal. Sounds really interesting. Um, and when you have these names saying it's uh, beautifully written, a great thriller, I'm sure it's going to be a really fun, interesting read. This next one, I have no idea what I've bought, I'll be honest. It's called Theatre of the Gods by M. Sedane, and I have to say I do love the front cover. The little pirate ship in space, looks really, really cool. And the inside is lovely as well, really nice. So, this is a story of M. Francisco Fabregas, who's an explorer, philosopher, heretical physicist who took a ship full of children on a frightening voyage to the next dimension, assisted by a teenage captain, a brave deaf boy, a cunning blind girl and a sultry botanist, all the while pursued by the Pope of the Universe and a well-dressed mesmerist. Sounds ridiculous and crazy and potentially a lot of fun. So I picked this up for £1.50, really good price because it is hardback. Hopefully this is a good read. One of the charity shops I went to had these books and I'm absolutely thrilled because I've wanted these for quite a while. Um, it's the Ember in the Ashes and I think they're supposed to be four, they only had three, but that's fine. Um, by Sabir, Sabah Tahir. I love the front covers. The lights are just so, so cool. And it's about this girl called Leia and she's a scholar living in an empire, martial empire. And her brother's arrested for treason, all her loved ones are slain, so she wants to try and save her brother from execution by going undercover as a slave at the empire's greatest military academy. And on the other side, you've got um, the academy's finest soldier, Ilias, and he's secretly really unwilling to be part of this, this system. And so they're gonna they're going to um, meet and hopefully save her brother, but I'm not sure because <laughs> I haven't read this series, but I'm really excited to. I must get the fourth book as well, but each of these were 99p each, which is an absolute bargain, so I'm really thrilled to get these. So these are my charity shop books that I got last month. I'm sure you'll agree with me that I found some fantastic books here and for such great prices so charity shops are really good guys make sure you go visit them bye everyone